Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today we have the um, product reviews for the Point 3 apparel. Uh, this is basketball gear. Uh, if you didn't see my last video, I'll put an annotation or box somewhere around the screen. Um, and then you can also get to their website directly in the description box. I will have a link to their site if you are interested in anything that you see here or just curious as to like what other products they have. So, with that being said, Let's go ahead and Alright guys, right so here's it. just another quick look at the shorts. Um, I know that I showed these previously in the last video. This is the face or the front of the short and this is the left leg here. So there's a three logo there. And on the back, it's just got their, their patch here with their logo. And that is pretty much it. Um, as far as how they feel um, and fit, they fit true to size and they actually feel really good. Um, they're kind of like a mixture between a lightweight and a heavy uh, short. So a lot of the newer shorts, in my opinion, they're going real, real lightweight. They're really thinning things out, um, single layers and stuff like that. I personally like the old school way of shorts where it was like double layered mesh and things like that. So um, that's my personal preference just because I like to feel like I'm actually wearing something. I don't like feeling like I'm not wearing anything at all. Um, as far as my body, I, I want to feel a little bit of something. It doesn't have to be crazy heavy, but it just has to have a little bit of weight to it. Now, this thing has a little bit of weight to it, and it's right around the waist area. And by weight, I don't mean it's going to weigh you down. It's just you can feel that you're wearing something. Um, so it's got the thicker band for the elastic uh, waist, and then it's got the uh, drying towels on the side. That's what makes me like realize that I'm actually wearing something. Now... The rest of the short is extremely thin and lightweight. It's basically a single layered mesh, which is um, like a micro mesh. So I don't know if you're going to be able to feel it or not feel it, but see it. Um, but it's it's pretty lightweight and it's stretchy, which is great. Um, one of the best properties about this is that there's plenty of ventilation, so you're always getting airflow. Um, all of the red section is micro mesh. And then every section that you see that is this white material. This is uh, slightly thinner, a little bit more lightweight, and it's uh, got some moisture wicking properties to it. It doesn't stay wet for very long and all that stuff. So you got that down the side of the shorts, uh, running down the side of the leg on both sides. And then you also have one right at the tailbone. And these are areas that are, you know, they get sweaty or they hold a lot of moisture. And then in between the shorts on the inside, uh, where like the crotch seam is at, that is... Uh, there and then going down the inside of the thighs. So I think that that part as far as like ventilation, airflow, things like that, it's very nice. Um, again, it's lightweight. There are pockets, which is cool. So those are all things that I think are great. Um, my favorite aspect, obviously, is the towel feature. Um, these do work a little bit better than this, especially nowadays where moist, mo most of the towels, or not towels, the shorts, are being made with moisture wicking fabric. And when I wipe my hands on those, it just kind of like slides moisture all over the place and all that kind of stuff. Now, what I would suggest is uh, if you use powder or uh, chalk, uh, liquid chalk, things like that on your hands already, sometimes it's hard to get back to the bench. You know what I mean? Like it's not always like it doesn't last the whole game. So that's where this stuff comes in. This actually helps, especially late in the game and it's kind of crunch time, things like that. And you just need to wipe a little bit of that moisture off the tips of your fingers. That way you don't lose control. Um, and you just feel a little bit more secure. So that's what this is. Does it give you a, a huge, you know, um, uh, competitive advantage? Uh, the answer to that is obviously no. Uh, this is a really big placebo right here. So this is something that's going to kind of make you um, a little bit more eased, and uh, it's going to like really suit your mind and things like that, and it just kind of gets you focused. Um, if you feel comfortable, then you're going to play at your highest caliber or at your highest capacity. So. Um, it's not going to make you play like Michael Jordan, but you will just feel a little bit more comfortable in your head knowing that all you have to do is just wipe real quick. So my only my only cons for this product here, um, or there's actually two, it's not, I wouldn't say they're cons, one of them actually is, but the second one is just more of like an improvement. Um, but the first thing is the shorts are not too long, and um, they go basically from your waist down to your knee. They are true to size, so get to regular size. Um, but they go straight down to your knee. I, I'm usually used to having my, my uh, shorts play just a little bit past my knee. Um, 
That might be because I'm short, but I'm not really sure. Uh, either way, I thought that they were pretty comfortable as is. I just I just had to get used to like not having something super baggy and everything like that. So um, that's pretty much the only real con in my opinion, but that's more of a personal preference. Now, the one thing that I wish that they would have done differently is this is the back of the short right here. And this is uh, right above like your cheeks, your butt are going to be right here. Now when I wipe my hands, I actually grab my butt and I pull them and bring them to the front. So I'm like grabbing myself and then, you know, pulling it around, you know, insert your own jokes here and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, so that's, that's what I do and this is just a little bit high for me. So, um, you know, my shirt's probably going to be coming down to right about here as it is. So if I wanted to wipe my hands, I kind of got to go underneath my shirt real quick, go really high up there and then wipe away and all that stuff. So just for a little bit more convenience, I would have liked to have had it, uh, you know, spread down just a little bit uh, further, uh, maybe just a little bit longer down the sides as well. That way you can really run your, your, uh, uh, your hand down the side of your sh uh, shorts. It's just a little bit easier for me. This is fine, but I, I would have liked to have had it just a little bit more coverage. Um, that way I didn't have to go way so high up and all that stuff. Because this is, again, this is not where I'm usually going to wipe my hands. So I had to get used to the placement. Alright, so this is their shirt. Um, this is their compression tank. This, I didn't think, you know, I was going to like this too much just because compression tanks really don't fit me very well. Um, but this is the first time ever that I've had a compression tank that fits me perfect. Um... This is a size medium, fits me perfectly. Uh, like I was saying, the logo is right here, uh, the little number three. You're supposed to wear these underneath. You could wear these on top as well and all that kind of stuff. So it just depends on what you're comfortable with. Um, but it is a snug fit. And then you can also see the logo right here at the base of the neck on the back. And um, it's a nice snug fit, keeps everything compressed and all that stuff. Again, no real competitive advantage by wearing something like this. It just makes you feel good, makes you feel comfortable if that's something that you like. So that will make you play your best. So that's pretty much what that is. Um, the only thing that I could really say is that it just felt really good. I don't really have any cons for it. Uh, one of the things I thought was really weird is that this material here, this stuff just would not like keep moisture in it. I don't know what I don't know what this is. I mean, I know what it is. It has like what it's made out of and all that stuff. But like, I just don't understand. Like, it just didn't get wet. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I wore this underneath my shirts and underneath my jerseys and things like that. And it took, like, almost an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour, for this thing to actually, like, retain any water. Um, I just think that's weird. Like, even dry fit shirts will get a little bit moist and things like that. But this thing was, like, really crazy. Like, it just took forever for it to just kind of, like, soak up there. Um... I would keep checking, I'd go underneath my shirt and kind of touch this thing on my stomach and everything like that, which is pretty much where I sweat most is on my chest and on my back, and uh, nothing. Like, it was just, I don't understand it, so um, I can't tell you how or why, but it just did it. So, um, not only that, but it kept everything compressed, which is something that I do personally like. I, I enjoy that feeling. So, um, yeah, it was really weird, but yeah, it took like almost two hours just to get this thing wet, and even then it dried really quickly after games and everything, so like I was able to take off my top shirt and just wear this, and it would dry out really, really, really quickly, so um, I really, really like this shirt. I, again, I don't understand how the whole thing works, but whatever, you know what I mean? It worked, so... I thought all right guys so that pretty much takes care of it I know that this is kind of a long one but I wanted to get all of these products all together um, I, I do like the shorts I just wish they were a little bit longer and I wish that the towel feature was a little bit more dispersed that way I don't have to like adapt to it it could like just be where I wanted it um, but other than that I thought the shorts were good the shirt I thought was freaking awesome I don't know I don't know how it works, I don't know why it works this way and all that stuff, but it does, it fits me, it's the only compression shirt where it actually fit my skinny ass, and I think that that is awesome, um, it's such a weird material, it just doesn't get wet, like I don't, just don't understand it, so, um, but yeah, I don't want to keep rambling about the same thing, but I just really love this shirt, I think that this is awesome, I didn't think I would like it, and I really, really do like it, so, um, that pretty much takes care of it, and, uh, if you you know, basically want to check out their stuff, like I said, just go to the description box below and their link will be in there. Um, please stay tuned to my site, kicksoncourt.com, for all of your performance needs. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.